Jackie's ceremony in Shanksville was shortened because of the pandemic, but many of the victims' family members still attended. Nicole Ford spoke with some of them and shares their stories. Nicole. Christine, family members of the Flight 93 victims tell me coming to this park every year on the anniversary is an experience. From tears to hugs, 29-year-old Kamal Wilson describes this group of families as strangers, now bonded as one. September 11th, now like a family reunion for each of them. 40 names line this wall in Shanksville. Behind each name is a family who relives the events of 9-11 each year. You know, so every year it's like a fresh reminder of, you know, what can I do to honor or make myself better. Kamal Wilson was 10 years old when his uncle, First Officer Leroy Homer, died in the Flight 93 crash. Now 19 years later, you know, it's, it's incredible. I mean, look where we are. This is a national park. You can't visit the Pentagon or the World Trade Center. Alongside his family, he remembers his uncle's sacrifice and love for flying. But as the years pass, he says each of the victims has become a part of him. It's a sad time, but it's a time to be together and kind of remind yourselves, you know, there are 40 strangers and they made a family. Wilson encourages everyone to not just honor the victims today, but every day. We have the opportunity to remind ourselves we are all American. We are all human. We can come together, you know, hopefully not just for one day, but, you know, for something bigger than ourselves. Among the hundreds of people inside the park is Therese Garofalo. I serve with the New York City Police Department and for one year this year I wanted to try something different. She made the trip to Pennsylvania to pay tribute to the Flight 93 victims. Can't even tell you the feelings I have. It's It means so much. I mean, it's just memories I'm going to have forever and I'm never going to forget. And. Um, it just brings back a lot of memories. Memories from her time at Ground Zero. She hopes memorials like this one continue to teach future generations. We just can't forget those people that we lost. Now, if you're interested in checking out the Flight 93 Memorial, it is open seven days a week from sunrise to sunset. We're live in Shanksville, Somerset County tonight. Nicole Ford, KDKA News.